What's going on guys, it's Sebastian. In this video, I'm just going to be answering questions that you guys have asked me on my Instagram page. So if you guys don't follow me, I'll have a link in the description for that. Basically, I just posted on my Instagram that I'm probably gonna film a Q&A video. I do have some other videos planned for this week and next week, but this one will just be very simple to make. Since I do have like a slight health issue that I've been dealing with this week and it's not fun at all, um, so I don't really have the mental clarity to go too in depth on any crazy topics. So a Q&A felt like the best option for me. So before we get into it, be sure to leave a like and click subscribe. But other than that, I'm going to pull up my Instagram and we are going to start rolling through these questions. Hopefully I can provide value to you guys. I'm sure if one person asked a question that there's a lot more people who are wondering the same thing. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, and gives you guys great insight. So let's just get into it. Okay, the first question is if I can do a day in the life video, I definitely want to do one. I may do one this weekend. I have some meetings in LA, so I'm gonna be there for the weekend because I don't live in LA. Some people think I live there, but I don't. Um, I have some meetings there this weekend. So I have to drive there. I'm probably gonna go with my brother and we're just gonna hang out for the weekend there, take care of some business and then come back on Sunday. So I may film maybe Friday or Saturday, not really sure. That may be a video I do want to post though and make, so who knows? I guess stick around and we shall see. Another person asked how I'm getting sales without any Facebook ads. I actually made a video going over that. It's probably maybe five videos ago or four videos ago, maybe even earlier than that. Basically, I've built up a great brand with great valued customers that actually love the product that I'm selling. So they come back and they actually buy more of the same product, a different product. My customer return rate is over 30%, which makes up for a lot of the revenue that I'm still generating on a daily basis without even running ads. So that's mainly what it is. And then also I'm doing email marketing and some people have saved my website and haven't bought the product. So then they're coming on and maybe they had a date that they planned to buy it. Or like, as you guys know, if you guys have shopped online, sometimes you forget to buy something and then you come across it again, whether it's in your emails or whether you screenshotted the website and then you come on and buy the product. So that's the same thing that's been happening to me for the past few weeks. And understand it's not like I'm generating like $100 or a few hundred a day. It's like multiple thousands of dollars. Like yesterday I did, I think, $5,500 no ad spend in the past few weeks. So it's been going really well. A few other people asked for a day in the life video. I, again, happy to make one, but understand like my life isn't crazy structured. It's not like I'm waking up at 3 a.m. getting on tons of meetings, like in tons of phone calls. It's, it's nothing like that. And I like, I, you guys will see if I do a video, you guys might be shocked and let down. Um, hopefully not, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll probably make that video. Someone asked what habits should aspiring dropshippers implement? Uh, good habits to develop consistency, just not getting obsessed with like making something work right away. For myself, it took me years to actually make an insane amount of money with dropshipping. I started in 2017 and didn't have crazy success until last year. Uh, the first year I started, I did decent, like a few hundred bucks a day profits, but it wasn't until last year where I started making good money. And then this year now I'm just crushing it if I'm being honest. So it took me quite some time. It didn't happen overnight. So if you can just stay consistent with anything you do in life, whether it's fitness or working out, eating healthy, working on your business, working on relationships. You can dominate all of those areas in your life if you are consistent. So I would say consistency, no matter if you're like drop shipping or whatever, um, consistency is very important. Am I planning on branching out into other fields such as real estate? Definitely real estate, stock market. I'm already invested in the stock market. Um, but yeah, that's for sure something I want to look into. Um, real estate probably will be something I get into next year just because I have a good amount of capital that's sitting, but I don't want to overextend and invest too much into real estate and then not have enough for my e-commerce brands to scale and grow that infrastructure. So I'm not actually positive, but definitely in the future, not sure if it's gonna be next year or the year after that, maybe next year, I don't know, we'll see. How has dropshipping changed since I started? When I first started dropshipping, I will put up a picture right here. You could basically run these ads on Instagram and Facebook and make sales. Now it's to the point where consumers need to get hooked way more than just a white background photo of the product. Normally, sometimes it still works, but normally you have to run video ads and you have to have all this crazy stuff set up and your website has to look a lot better than they did back then because consumers are very used to dropshipping stores. So that changed and then also Amazon, when they started introducing like two day shipping and one day shipping or same day shipping, consumers are now used to that, which means that you have to speed up your shipping times. Now, if you wanna compete with them and if you wanna still satisfy your customers, back then people really didn't care that much about like one to two week shipping times. Now it's a big deal if your product doesn't come the same week, which is again, that's a big issue. Someone asked what motivates myself. For myself, I get motivated by progress. I don't wanna 
wake up a year from now and feel like I'm in the same spot I was in last year. That's happened to me before and it's, uh, I hate the feeling. Moving forward, I just constantly wanna make progress both financially, health-wise, with my relationships, my family, everything like that. I need to make sure I'm progressing in life and doing things properly. I would just say progress, making sure again, I'm not staying complacent. That's kind of the gist of what motivates myself. Someone said what clicked for you when you were starting. For myself, I didn't have really any aha moment. I just, my parents told me I needed to get a job. I didn't want a job. So I just kind of started <laughs> drop shipping. Like I wish there was some crazy story, but there wasn't. It was just one of those things where I realized that I needed to make money, didn't have money. So I just looked online, like how to make money, like stuff that clicked, obviously Facebook ads. I realized that was very important. So I, if I could answer that in one way, maybe Facebook ads, like understanding the value of Facebook ads. But um, yeah, my story was pretty plain. Like I just kept going for a few years and eventually I made a really good amount of money with drop shipping. Do I get scared of gold diggers? I wouldn't say I get scared of gold diggers, but because I can like tell if a girl is in it for my money or not. Uh, and same thing with guys, like having friendships. A lot of people just wanna hang out with you because they wanna pick your brain and like learn from you, which it's kind of annoying. Like I really only hang out with my high school friends and other business friends that are doing really well, not because I want to use them, but just because they understand the position I'm in where it's hard to make friends that aren't really successful because most of them just want to kind of leech off of you and use you for your knowledge and um, what you know, I guess, which definitely sucks. So it's not something that I'm scared of because it's very easy to know if someone's in you for your money, um, but it, it is kind of weird because I can't really build normal relationships like normal people can. Someone said taxes, please. Uh, what are those? Is dropshipping still a good way to make money? Yes, 1000%, you just have to do it properly. Don't sell what everyone else is selling or you won't get great results. Your ROAS will be mundane, it will be terrible if you sell the same product as everyone else. If you sell an untapped product, you can have a five plus ROAS pretty easily. So just keep that in mind when you're doing research on your products. I think a lot of people are selling the same products and it's why they're not really having any success in the business. Do I make my bed every morning? I don't really think so. Sometimes I do, like sometimes I just throw the covers back to where it looks like it's made, but it's not completely made. A lot of people think like just because I make money, I have everything figured out and everything like perfected to a T in my life. If you guys saw how dirty my desk was and how dirty my room was right now, um, you guys would just think I'm a normal young kid right now, but it's it's pretty funny. Um, no, I, do, I don't make my bed every day. It's just like, I'm gonna get in it at night and dirty it, so why, not dirty it, but like I'm gonna rip up the blanket, so why, um, why make it every morning, right? That's something I'll do when I, become an adult. What helped me the most when learning dropshipping? I would say like watching the basics on YouTube and then kind of taking that information and just applying it for as long as I possibly could afford to apply it. Like Facebook ads, influencers, I just learned the basics and kept going with it. So uh, that helped me learn the most because like when you just rely on videos and watch them every day and think that like I have every single answer for you guys, you get into a weird space where you feel like you can't do anything unless someone else helps you out, which that's not the case. Like someone at some point had to literally create the business model of drop shipping and adding products from AliExpress onto their Shopify store and they pioneered it. Like it was at one point, one person had to do that for the first time ever. So keep that in mind. It's not like everyone has the key for you guys to actually succeed. It sometimes just has to be through trial and error. Hobbies or favorite thing to do in my free time. I hang out with my friends. I go to the gym. Um, I like shooting. Like I have a few guns, so I go shooting when I can, but ammo is scarce as F right now. So not really doing much shooting, but that's basically it. I mean, I don't really do a whole lot. I also like driving my car, which is still not back um, because I got in a car accident. So still not back, which sucks, but um, I like driving a lot. Like sometimes I'm bored and I'll just drive my car and not really do anything else other than drive around. So yeah, those are my hobbies. Can I film a motivational video? That is not my personality. I don't know if you guys can tell from like my Instagram and my YouTube, I joke around a lot, um, especially on Instagram. That's not me. I'm not one to be like super motivational just because I feel like, I don't know, that's not who I am. How much would you spend to test a product on Facebook ads? Okay, so if you're gonna spend like 50 to $100 a day, I would say at three to four days, you should know if the product's working or not, at most a week. So depending on your budget, maybe a few hundred bucks uh, for myself, I could spend like up to a few grand until I completely cross out the product, but at that point I, I should have it working. So if you guys are tight on money, definitely like 200 bucks, maybe 300 to 500, but no more than that. If you're spending like a few grand on one product, move on because there's probably a better one that you could have way better results with. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not. I'm not dating. 
Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be living in this state for much longer. I may move in 2021. So I don't really think there's any point in like getting into a relationship right now. Upcoming plans, going to LA this weekend. And then next month I'm planning a Europe trip for the summer because I don't think Europe's open for US travel. Um, yeah, planning some vacations for 2021, but um, other than that, not much. What does the tattoo on my hand mean? The 1969 one, they're talking about that one. That is my dad's birth year. And then I have my mom's right there. <laughs> That's a fake one, that's not real. Uh, just put it on there for fun. But yeah, I have a lot of fun tattoos, so that's one of them. How to start a YouTube channel like myself? Um, I guess just post videos. I mean, you guys should go and look at my first videos that I've posted, they're really bad, and I'm so bad in front of the camera. So uh, yeah, go watch those and you'll realize that like anyone can start a channel because my videos were so cringe. Like I, I, it'd be kind of fun to do a video where I react to those, but I don't know if I could put myself through that um, trauma of watching those again but um yeah i guess just post videos how do i keep motivating myself again it's kind of just like progress i want to keep making progress and i don't want to wake up in a year from now and be in the same place i was in right now so that's kind of it what's my guilty pleasure purchases definitely food i buy food way more than i should what else um i don't really spend money other than that like food and cars but i already bought a car and i'm i don't plan on buying another one for a long time I would say inventory, I, I like I, sometimes I'll wake up and I'm like, I wanna invest into this brand that I have and go like double down on it. And so I'll wire my suppliers like 50K. So um, yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah, bro, day in the life, motivate us. Okay, like I've seen a lot of people and I know I've mentioned day in the life a lot, but like I've seen a lot of people make day in the life videos and I imagine that they don't do that every single day, like where they have tons of meetings and stuff like that. For myself, I think I would unmotivate you guys with my day in the life just because like I don't do a whole lot. Like it's not like I'm grinding 24 seven. Today I probably worked an hour and I made like a few thousand dollars. So um, yeah, I mean, I'll still make one, but understand it's not a lot of work compared to what you guys might think. How do I deal with people wanting to leech off of me? I just don't really talk to them. Like I have, it, it's so easy to just not reply to people like on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever and just like leave them on red. I don't care if people see that I open their message and don't reply. Um, if it's in person, I mean, I kind of just like laugh it off um, and that's kind of it. But yeah, it happens pretty often, like more than you'd think. Like I mentioned earlier, I have my friends from like elementary school and high school and then that's basically it. Um, aside from like my e-com friends and YouTube friends. Other than that, I, I don't make any like crazy amounts of other friends just because it's really hard to meet genuine people who aren't just trying to use you. How many hours a day do I spend working on my businesses? Like I mentioned, probably like maybe one to four hours a day. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, but one to four is a good range. That's gonna wrap it up for this Q&A video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if I did not answer your question, I apologize, but I do have like so many that I couldn't get to. Um, so if you guys want to get in on the next one, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will have a link in the description for that. And if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like and click subscribe. And if you guys have questions, comments, or video recommendations, you can always drop those in the comment section below. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.